Yay. Oh, Teresa was in very early this morning. You're going er into work early, Teresa. Maybe Roy will be here. Okay. Shelby J gave us a nice wave at 1010 this morning. Thank you very much, Shelby. <laughs> What do you want to do, Finley? And come and sit. Come on, mom is mom is on TV. Yes. You want to come and say hi? Here, here. Want to come say hi? Oh yeah, there you go. You want to sit with me? Wow! <laughs> I almost fell off the chair. We almost fell off the chair. Oh my goodness, puppy. What do you think? How do you want the screen? You can get everyone to come in. I know. I know. We don't want to be fussed with. We don't want to be fussed with. Right? We don't want to be fussed with. So. What should we do? What should we do now? What should we do now? Hmm? What should we do now? Hmm? What should we do now? Tell me. Tell me. No, you don't want to. Hey, Lord. What's for breakfast? I know. I had to switch it up today. Come on, get down. Put these in my seat. Get in my seat, puppy. Oh. Thanks, Lori, for joining. Well, I just had some cinnamon toast, and I'm drinking my uh, mocha cappuccino out of my uh, Irish coffee mugs. What do you guys have for breakfast? Is it still breakfast? It's almost, it's 1030, obviously, here. Okay, I'm going to do this for you. Yeah, that's your bone. Am I down with your bone? Finley just, Finley just had his breakfast. <laughs> nice bowl of dog food. So what y'all having for breakfast today? I had to move this up because um, I have to actually go back to work at 12. Some of our schools are having... Um, it was weird. The camera was like literally shaking. So some of our schools are having half day today. We had egg sandwich earlier working on oh working on taxes. Yes, yeah, speaking about taxes. Um, so next when next week's gonna be a little wonky. The camera keeps shaking. Is the camera shaking? It's so it's weird. It's is it not sitting on there right? I don't know. Um, next week's going to be a little wonky because um, Shane has to go do her taxes on Wednesday night. So um, not really sure what day we're going to have our live auction. It may be Tuesday or maybe Friday because... Friday, which is maybe we shouldn't do it Friday because Friday is Good Friday, and we probably shouldn't do it on Good Friday. Um, so, okay. Um, so I'm thinking. Good morning, Linda. Thanks for joining me. I'm on, on the, in the morning. Thanks for coming in the morning. So I'm thinking Tuesday. Um. Maybe Thursday, since we go a little bit later, because uh, I know Marianne from All the Out of Treasures, she is starting back up again. And um, I believe she wants to do something on Thursday. Where do you want to go now? Uh, let's go that way. Um, so she, so she, um, she wants to do something on Thursdays. Where's that? He's barking. Good thing I told you to stay outside. <laughs> Maybe he'll stop. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. What? What? I told you to stay Hey, 
Amy, thanks for coming in this morning. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking either Tuesday or Thursday next week. Um, is the camera shaking? For some reason, it, feel, I, it feels like it's shaking. Is the camera, sh is like the picture shaking? Because for some reason, it, it looks like, every once in a while, it looks like it's shaking. Yeah, like, what, I'm, why is it doing that? I'm touching. It's never done that before. I mean, the camera's not. Sorry. <laughs> okay, maybe the camera wasn't completely set on the computer. Not this is what shook it. Okay. Anyway, it was shaking. I thought so. Yeah. Um. So I'm thinking maybe Tuesday or Thursday next week we're gonna have our live auction. Um. Unless I'm brave enough and just do it myself. <laughs> so not so. Just stay tuned. Um. We'll definitely give you an update by Sunday. Um, yeah, we'll still have a, a thrift haul on Sunday, so we'll we'll give you an update on um on Sunday what we're doing as far as as far as that. So next week might be a little off with um with that. So I like wearing these glasses sometimes. It's just with that. So what's everyone having for breakfast this morning? I'm ha I'm drinking my mocha latte, my mocha cup, mocha this one's mocha cappuccino. It's from the, it's cold. It's from the, um, now what are you doing, PayPal? PayPal's been so weird lately. Oh my gosh. It's been like on and off and I can't get in and I can't get, I, I don't know. It was just, it's just odd. So I think I, I think I finally fixed it. Yesterday I had to do a whole new thing with the cookies and the cache history. And I'm like, oh my gosh, those Cache histories really mess up some things. They like bog down your computer. So it's always good to like get those things out. So um okay, so we're gonna have our Easter Ific. Our Easter Ific sale uh, today, tonight, tonight, tonight we're having our, our Easter Ific sale. So this is I'll put the camera back up there so you all can see all the wonderful stuff. Yeah, I thought that the camera was kind of not attached to the computer good enough. That's why I was shaking. There we go. Okay. This is what we got going on. This is what we got going on tonight. It is our Easter Ific sale. Um, where to start? Oh my gosh, there's so many bunnies. Do you see how many bunnies? <laughs> how many bunnies? are on this tape or is on here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen bunnies sixteen bunnies are on this shelf oh my gosh that's a lot of bunnies um so this one is big thing that we have i'm going to show you the biggest item here without breaking anything this is the biggest item oh thank you lori it's it's very eastery i put it together I'm like wow that really does look like easter <laughs> so one of the things we have that's coming up tonight is this bunny teapot set so this is the teapot isn't that cute look at a little tulip as the spout and that's the and a tulip as the handle. This is so cute. It is the glaze has gotten crazed, but I still think it's like really really cute. So what comes with this? So we're selling the whole set together. So you're gonna get the teapot. We are selling the whole thing together, right? Um, where is it? Of course, I can never find it. Bunny, 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 bunnies. There's a bunny, bunny, bank, bunny, doll, bunny, Easter bunny base. Oh, 
Okay, Shane, I don't see it on here. Do 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 Latin letters. She does not have this on there. Oh, here it is. I went right by it. Funny tea set. Okay. Yeah, so we are selling the whole thing. So it comes with the teapot. And then you're going to have the sugar and creamer. Aren't those cute? I think these are the cutest part of it, is the sugar and creamer. This is the creamer, and that's the sugar. And the sugar even has its own little spoon. Look at that the spoon. They all have, like, ladybugs on them. Oh, there it goes. There it is. And he's holding a little beehive and he's got some tulips. He's got a little fat belly. He's got a little fat belly. And then, then we each have, the, then there's four mugs. Look how cute the mugs are. Oh my goodness. These mugs are so cute. So you have four mugs, and they each have their own little stirring spoon. I mean, how cute would this be for your granddaughter or for your daughter? I mean, yes, they'd have to be careful with it, but on oh, your back. Um, but I think this would be so cute for a little tea set for um, a little girl. And then we have the four plates. These are the plates. These are from um, Macari. No, not Macari. Macuries. Macuries, I think it is. Those are the plates, and there's four plates. And then there's four napkin holders. Look at that. Four napkin holders. This is this is very this is really cute. Very, very cute. So that is the tea set. So you get the teapot, the sugar and creamer. You get four mugs, four napkin. They would have to put it away for a few years. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd have to be like a certain age. You know, maybe a little, you know, in between like that seven and 10, maybe, or, you know, 10 and eight and 13. I don't know. I don't have girls. So I'm not really sure what age girls really like um, tea, tea parties and stuff. But I think that's really cute for a girl or a granddaughter. And, and yeah, they have to be careful because it is porcelain, you know, or it's, it's ceramic, actually. So it could break if they drop it or stuff. But anyway, uh, we do have some vintage Easter. So this is a, um, a vintage piece. I'm not really sure. It's from RB Japan. That's the back stamp there. So this is a cool little planter or basket, whichever centerpiece. Little boy and girl. Pulling a wagon with a big Easter egg. There's no chips or cracks on this. This is in great condition. Little wear on the bottom, but that's that's about it. Uh, everything else is really good. The paint the paint job on here is excellent. So um, this is really nice. This is a nice little centerpiece for Easter. And then the other vintage uh, Easter one we have is this guy. He's a little, a little wagon, so a little planter. There's um, this one is from Giftware, Giftwares Japan. Giftwares Japan. Um, he does have a little condition. He is 
the, the bunny is actually glued back on, so he must have broke off at some point. And someone did glue him back on. If I bought him, I would try to stick glue back in behind there because I can I can hear him wiggle a little bit. So um, this is really cute. And that's the only condition. I'm, the wagon's in good condition. The paint, the paint job is excellent. All the paint is still in really good condition on the bunny and on the wagon. That's the back of it. So again, really cute if you want to put some special eggs in there for your um, children or grandchildren. I think that's he's he's super cute, and the, the paint is just awesome on, on that guy. Um, another vintage we have this little lamb. He's from Japan. Um, we just. What is he called? Oh, he's called a sugar textured lamb. Ooh, look at his face. Woo. <laughs> his bow is that cold paint, I believe. So, of course, some of that has, has rubbed off, which in most cold paint um, situations, the, the red does rub off eventually. But he is called sugar textured. So it's not the spaghetti. It's the sugar texture. And other than the cold paint of red fading off, he's in really good condition. He's just giving you like, woo, it's Easter time. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, we have some little resin wooden bunnies. And then we have these two. These we're gonna sell as a set. So they're they're the egg holders. So a little guy and girl holding them, holding their half eggs, so they're egg, so they're little egg holder guys. They're cute. Uh, then we have this porcelain, we have this porcelain rabbit doll. She's, so she's porcelain in her head and her hands and her feet. She is um, Victoria Ashley Originals. So she does have her tag. Victoria Ashley Originals designed by Betty Ball, 1986. And her name is Rosabelle. Rosabelle! So she's in decent condition. She's got some glue on some glue residue on her head there, but she's cute. Uh, we have this bowl from Portugal, a hand painted bowl. That's really that's really Eastery. So that would make a nice centerpiece. Uh, we have six we have six of these lotus flower bowls that you can use to put fruit salad in i need to clean this one a little bit better <clears throat> yeah i need to clean these up a little bit more so these are called lotus flower bowls not sure who made them but they'd be cute for individual salads or individual um Easter treats that you could put around your table if you're having um, for breakfast or brunch and um, just give each individual a little egg, little treats in their lotus flower. So there's six of them all together. Then of course we do have a basket. <laughs> we have a very nice, this is um, made in Poland. Crystal clear, 24% lead crystal. So that is a very nice uh, clear cut basket. That's the bottom. Um, has a nice uh, saw edge on, on one part and a smooth scalp edge on another part. You've got some flowers, some flowers going up and then you have the stripes. And then the, the handle is Nice with uh, like a star shape. 
or flowers. I'm not sure. Kind of looks like I'm not sure what that design is, but the handle's pretty as well. So that's made uh, made in Poland. That crystal from Poland. That's very nice. This is old. This is a, a look at this deviled egg holder. Isn't that cool? You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs. Ten deviled eggs on there. And then it has a nice little hook that you can hang it back up after Easter and use it for display. But that's pretty cool looking. I've never seen that um, that color in a deviled egg plate before. <coughs> Mm -hmm. um yes yes it is ceramic Lori. yep i would say ceramic. so it could be handmade hand painted possibly but uh yes that is ceramic yes then we have two march angels this is your joseph originals with the uh, yellow flowers for uh, daffodils. She's in great condition. She's got no chips or cracks on her. And um, her paint is in, is in really good condition. Yeah, it's not different, Linda. That was a little different. I was like, wow, that's really cool looking. Her wing is here. She has not been decapitated. <laughs> and her wings are in good condition as well. So is this little girl. I've never seen these guys. They're Alpine Angels of the Month. So she is March. She looks like a Hummel. Um, made in Japan. I'll go this way. Alpine Angels of the Month. And it's funny because I think this says the month. Alpine Angels the, the month. It doesn't say O F. It says O E or D E. The month of the oh no. So that's definitely a misprint there of some sort. But she's in really great condition. I love how she's holding the shamrocks. But her paint is in really great condition. Her wings are right there. Her halo's there. She's got all of her stuff. There's a tea set. Um, then we have these two banks. These are banks made in Japan. We are going to sell them separately. So we have this one with the pink dress. I don't know if these are bunnies or these are foxes. We, we can't really tell. If they're a bunny or a fox. They do have big ears. And bunnies have big ears, but so do foxes. It's just all the nose, I guess. I'm not really sure. So this one has her pink dress, and there is the back. And then this one has the blue dress with her apron. And she's got her hand behind her back. Like, I'm hiding something from you. But they're very cute. Their paint is, is in really good condition. She's got a little bit of um, probably roughness or paint loss on the back here. Where it's rubbed off a little bit. But she's in really good. So we got two of those. We have this very cute, uh, oh, that's the water from my cleaning it. This is very pretty. This is from FDA Florist from 1987. A nice little vase with a bunny. <laughs> I think his face is really cute. He's got a cute face with some, I would call these um, dogwood flowers. So that's a nice little, nice little vintage vase from 1987, 
FDA, FT, FTDA, FTD, 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 FTD. <clears throat> uh, I got two, one platter and one cake plate. So I got the, this is the cake plate. I wanted to do another cake plate. I'll have to see. So I have this cake plate. <clears throat> Thank you, Amy. This is from Lamo, China, 24 karat gold, 22 karat gold, Taylor Smith, Taylor Smith, USA. And that's just got a nice, pretty bouquet of flowers in the middle. Very plain all around. You got this nice beading going around there and little handles on it as well. And it, it is an elevated plate. <coughs> Sorry. It's probably making me more. <coughs> okay. There, there we go. So a very nice, simple, but springy cake plate. Okay, yes. Then we have this um, Mason um, W.S. George Radisson platter in the Bluebird design. This is very, very cute. Very pretty. This is crazed. It does have some wear. This bluebird's a little worn on, on that side there. But this could have been like restaurant wear. I looked it up and I believe he was doing a little bit of restaurant wear. And maybe for the Radisson, since his last name is Radisson, W.S. George Radisson. Maybe for the Radisson Hotels. Lyndon knows a little bit more about restaurant wear. Um, this also has this like wheat pattern embossed in the sides now one thing about this is i was not able to find this style platter i saw other platters more rounded ones but this is like an oval and it's also like has a shape to it so i could not find this particular platter. I found the design and that's how I know it's the bluebird pattern. And even on replacements, they don't have this platter. So this platter is a little bit of a rare find. So that's very good. Okay. There, oh, this is, oh, here's another vintage piece. Look at this chicken. Look at that chick on all the eggs. It's a little chick on a big pile of eggs in a nest. Now, this could have been a hobbyist piece. It does have one chip here on the actual basket, but it's so easy to make that the back, and then you wouldn't even know. But how, how pretty is that basket weave on the bottom there? And then you got this little tiny chick on this big nest of eggs. I think that's so cute. <laughs> that, that would make a really nice centerpiece. A really nice centerpiece. Um, then we have, I thought this is cool. We have this chicken or bird um, egg collector. But how cute would that be? Because if you might be able to get these by Easter. Yeah, it's very possible to get this by Easter. How cute would that be if you give this to your children or your grandchildren and have them collect their eggs in it? That'd be so cute. Or just put a bunch of the eggs, um, colored eggs inside the basket. I think that'd be so cool. It's a little, little rusty. It is wire. So I think that's, a, that's really cool. That's really cool. And then we got the mama and daddy duck. Someone that's upset. Yes. 
These are, we are going to sell these as a set. I know, isn't that a nice wire basket, Lori? Um, the mommy and daddy duck, we are going to sell together. I do still have to get this glue off the baskets and the, uh, the milk jug. But they're in great condition. They are a little crazed. And that is it. Their paint is in excellent condition. I love, I love her, the design on her cape. It's got like this quilt pattern going on there. I think that's really nice. So, um, yeah, we're going to sell these together as a set, which I think is a really good idea. We don't sell too much as sets. Um, then we have these yellow um, genuine corsicry porcelain. We have um, these little salt cellars. They're a very nice yellow. So you can use a salt cellar, salt cellar, shell, salt cellars, or for spices, or just to have around people. If you have four people, we have four of them, or you can add them to other ones that you have. And then just put them around your table and put little jelly beans in them or little Easter candies you know, at, at your table. So I think that this will make a really nice uh, tablescape to add to your tablescape. Just a really nice yellow for spring. Um, we have this bowl. I just put some bowls in, you know, for people to like add um, Easter grass in and just to use for display purposes. This is a really nice, uh, very old, this is Edwin Knowles. Um, ivory definitely staying and crazed on that one <laughs> but how cute would that be with a little bit of easter grass in there and put a chocolate bunny in there just some stuff that you guys can like decorate around your house with with different ideas and then of course you have the, the milk glass i don't know this could be indiana glass i have to look this up again um it's not hobnail. It's kind of like a woven, more like a woven pattern. There's no maker's mark on it that I can see. No. But again, you could put some Easter grass in there. Just fill it with your can with um, Easter candy, little chocolate eggs. And there you go. Um, same kind of thing with these. Are we selling these in a set? No. Separate. Okay. So these are just oval clear glass um, serving dishes. Um, I thought this would be nice again to like, display some eggs in. Just to have on like your table or for um, chocolate candies, what have you. I just think that the shape is really nice um, for table for any kind of table for tablescapes. Um, you can put your pickles in here as well. Uh, some deviled eggs, some hard boiled eggs. There's all kinds of different stuff you can do with this. They are smooth inside, so very easy easy cleaning. If you wanted to use them to put food in, um, I would do like olives or pickles in here, or maybe even. Um, some hard boiled eggs to have around your breakfast table. And then these are cool. These are paper mache eggs and these are from West Germany. So we have two at this size, the paper mache. But you can hide little surprises in there. So you got this little jolly little rabbit walking with his basket of eggs, almost like me, like Peter Rabbit, almost. So you got him. And then you got this Easter Bunny, and he is painted an egg. And again, these are from West Germany. Then we have this one, and this is, this is probably an example of the Easter Bunny, or Peter Cottontail. Um, this one has the original tag. Paper mache Easter egg, individually handcrafted in West Germany. 
that is in the original packaging. That's really cool. So that's really neat. Then, last but not least, I guess I, I think we over everything, which is nice. We have this very nice uh, clear cut bowl. This is from England. This is um, Raymond, R A I M O N D, Raymond Crystal. Yes, that's what I thought, Lori, when we saw those. I'm like, oh, these are, those are really good. <laughs> so I'm glad we were able to find the one that has the actual tag on it because I didn't know they were from West Germany. That's where I was born. I was born in West Germany. My dad was, our dad was in the um, Navy and he was stationed in Bremerhaven, West Germany. So I was born in uh, West Germany, which is, so, and then we have German in our, the, we're from Germany originally. So it's kind of cool. I love this bowl. I think this is so cool for Easter time or springtime with the crystal clear, um, almost like, um, like like glass, stained glass windows, you know, like at a church where they have the window panes. This reminds me of the window panes in a church, these, these bigger ones here. And this really cool bottom. And you have the silver rim or silver plated rim going around it. So this is um, Ed, uh, Raymond Crystal, which is from England. Yep, large clear bowl. And so those are really nice place to put your paper mache eggs in because you can see through it. So you can stick your paper mache eggs in the clear bowl. There you go. All right. I think that's about it. I think that is it, everyone. Oh, my back gets a little funky when I open it. So I hope you liked our um, Easterific sale. Um, I hope there's some some things that might interest you. And what we'll probably, if you guys needed stuff before Easter, which if you're paid by Sunday, Sunday's a week before, you might get it. So we, I'll see if we can do the shipping a little bit earlier. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, I thought they, I thought they were pretty cool. It's stuff we've had, you know, we've been holding on to Easter for a little bit um, just so we can have one Easter Easter sale. Um, oh, my back. <laughs> From standing. Um, so, yeah, we will have all this tonight at our 6.30 auction as normal. Um, Shane will be here. Thank goodness. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so that's about it. It's going to rain on Saturday, so I'm not sure how much we're going to get out on the weekend. Um, so we'll have to figure that out. Maybe hit some estate sales on Friday, if I can hit some ones on Friday, possibly. Um, or just have to do Dollar Day, maybe a Goodwill on Sunday and see how we make out. But we have some stuff. I'm working on my purple sale. I got some more. I think we found some more purple. Yes, we did. We found a couple more purple things um, in there. So I'm working on a purple sale. Maybe we'll have that next week. I'll have to see if we can get all that together because we do have some stuff. And, uh, yeah, so next week, just stay tuned. Um, might be a little off. Um, Shane texts me. She says, up to me. <laughs> so um, I might opt for Thursday, I think. I know Marianne's going to have hers, but she's been hey kp how are you doing thanks for jumping in there i'm a little early today um because i do have to go back to work in about 40 minutes or so so unfortunately i gotta go back to work but you guys can watch the replay um i'm thinking thursday maybe next week i have to see what everyone else is doing because um I know Marianne on the added treasure. She is looking to come back a little bit more and she was looking at Thursday, but she does hers a little bit earlier in the afternoon. So we might be okay. And, um, Hey KP, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for joining us. 
we're having our Easter ific sale tomorrow. Or tonight. Tomorrow. Tonight. Tis tonight is Wednesday. I'm so off because whenever we have half days at school, that's why I have to go back to work early. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Whenever we go back to work, um, I'm half this. It messes me up with the day. So, um, yes. So we have about 32 items for tonight. Yes, it is tonight. Yes, it is tonight. Next week might be changed a little bit. But we will. I will definitely let you guys know. We'll we'll probably know tonight. We'll probably tell you tonight what, what it's going to be. Um, it's it's a very easy decision. So, um, and then the following week, the first week of April, we're going to be off because it's our spring break, and I'm going to be going to PA, um, to our house in PA, or my parents' house in PA, and they're going to be doing a yard sale. So I might have, don't hold me to it, but I may have a live yard sale at my parents' house, like around April 4th, April, don't hold me to it, Lori, I know you had so much fun at our last yard sale, oh my gosh, wasn't that fun, I love that, so, um, yeah. Yes, yard sale. <laughs> so I'll be at my parents' house and they're gonna have I'm organizing a yard sale at their house in PA. So I'm we're gonna have a yard sale there. Yes, KP, I don't know, I think you missed it. Over the summer, this past summer, we had a yard sale at our house and we had it during the morning and then in in the afternoon we still had a lot of stuff left over. I just went live. And we, we did, we sold everything. It was so great. It was like, here it is, here it is. So, um, yeah, so I might do a live yard sale at my parents' house. It was fun, wasn't it, Lori? It was a lot of fun. Um, maybe either April 5th or April 6th. So keep that in mind. Their Wi-Fi is a little... Um, wonky out there because it's, it's it's in the mountains they're like in a valley so their wi-fi is not the greatest so i have to check to see how that goes um because i hate for it to be you know try to do it and then we don't have good connections and we're buffering it and all that kind of stuff so i gotta check that out but it will be fun and if you know whatever they probably don't sell we probably bring down here anyway and then we could we could do a sale um of their stuff here too so um but i know the yard sale the live yard sale was a lot of fun and i i had a lot of fun doing it so that'd be good and um if anyone watches the buddha chick rita the buddha chick she did a haggle sale last night on her show oh my gosh that was so much fun um so we're gonna steal she said it's okay we for us to steal that idea so you do haggle it's called a haggle sale and basically i would show you an item and say you know okay i'm asking ten dollars for this if you want it for 10 you could you know put it in for 10 or you could put dog and put haggle you know and then you would tell me what price you want you want to give me and then i would say okay or no how about five like if you said seven and i would say no how about or you said five and i would say no how about seven so <coughs> it was a lot of fun and um she was clearing out a room and uh, she got rid of a lot of stuff so congratulations to lori i mean um to rita congratulations to rita for um coming up with that idea and um she said we could steal the idea because it was a lot of fun so it's almost like a yard sale where you can haggle the prices so it was neat uh, the chat the chat really liked that the the, the guys the people in the chat really got into it there was a lot of communication back and forth a lot of interaction which is really fun it's really fun when it, when you when you can interact more with the chat and stuff so 
We're probably gonna do that, you know, instead of doing clear the shelves, we might do a haggle sale. I think it'd be a lot of fun to try it. Okay, so that is what's coming up for us in the next two to three weeks. Um, looking forward to having a little bit of a spring break. Hopefully the weather is good. Today it's still it got cold again. Today it's not gonna be too bad, but it's going to be in the low upper 40s or low 30s with the wind chill in the next couple of days. So just really looking forward to like some 60s and 70s weather is what I'm looking forward to. So I'm going to be on my porch. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, our little preview. I hope you can guys can make it back tonight at 630 for our Easter Ithic auction. All right. You guys have a great afternoon, and I will see you guys tonight at 6.30. Take care now, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. See you guys tonight. Are you like, like, cold? <laughs> yep, see you guys all tonight. Take care.